There is sure an abundance of rocks on Earth, but did you know that not all rocks are made the same? Yes, they are all with different purposes too. In today's Lord Gizmo episode, we will take a look at how granite, a type of rock, is acquired through mining and how this one billion quarry did its process. But before that, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Let's dive right into the video. Granite is found in the Earth's crust. They are in formations known as plutons, or the magma that has solidified underground. Granite is used mostly for landscaping, and it is usually found on certain places like mountain ranges, plateaus, and plains. Although granite is quite common, the process of acquiring it can be very meticulous and requires high precision. Why? Because it uses these explosives. Just like how other mining companies do it, this facility uses this big machine to drill around 172 boreholes into the area. The boreholes have 93 diameters each, and they are equally spaced in this 200 meter space. Once they are done with boring holes, the workers will start inserting explosives. You can notice that they are tied to a rope, and the purpose of this is to make it easier for them to slowly insert the explosives. Once they make sure that everything is set, the workers move to a safer distance. Then, start the explosion. It may be a big and messy procedure, but it is quick. Do not worry, because all of the debris will be taken care of by these huge machines. Large backhoes are typically used for removing these rocks due to their power and versatility. The process starts with scooping up the debris using the backhoe's large bucket until the truck is filled. Once the truck is full, it will transfer the rocks to either a processing facility or a crusher, depending on the site requirements. Here is a fun fact about CAT. It is renowned for its massive and powerful dump trucks, often used in mining and heavy construction. One of the most astonishing models is the CAT 797F, which holds the title of one of the largest mechanical dump trucks in the world. This colossal vehicle stands at over 24 feet tall, almost as high as a two-story building, and is about 49 feet long. The 797F can carry a staggering 400 tons, which is equivalent to the weight of about 200 average-sized cars. The rocks can be moved to the next facility for additional processing once they have been crushed to the appropriate size. There are two methods to go about this. Some businesses still employ the antiquated technique of using an excavator or front-end loader to gather the crushed rocks and then loading them into trucks. Although it can be labor-intensive and dusty, this is a reasonably easy and affordable way. Some businesses have made investments in more advanced systems that load automatically. Conveyor belts are frequently used in these systems to move broken rocks from the crusher to hoppers or chambers. The rocks are then automatically loaded onto trucks that are waiting. The crushed rocks are finally placed onto trains and driven to their destination, regardless of the technique employed. Depending on how the rocks are going to be used, their sizes will change. Let us go back to the processes at the quarry. Here you can see how these granite slabs are cut and processed even further. These days, wire sawing is the recommended technique. For a more accurate and clean process, they can also use wire sawing. Drilled holes on the granite face are strung with a diamond-coated wire that resembles a huge cheese cutter. As the wire passes through the rock, water continuously cools it, reducing noise and dust. With little waste, this technique yields huge rectangular blocks. 
Here is a fun fact. A fascinating aspect of granite wire cutting, specifically using diamond wire saws, is how it revolutionizes the way we cut through one of the hardest materials on earth. The diamond wire saw was initially developed in the 1950s for cutting marble, but it was later adapted for granite, which is much harder. The wire can be incredibly long, sometimes over a kilometer in length, and is able to make precise cuts that other saws can't, even in the most delicate or complex shapes. Once they are satisfied with the product, they will start loading these onto these heavy-duty trucks. These vehicles will now be tasked to safely transfer the slabs from the quarry to the processing plant. When the granite slab first arrives at the mill, it must first get prepared by shaping the block and getting rid of unwanted edges. This method starts with the positioning of the granite block, securely fixed to prevent any movement during cutting. The wire saw is essentially a long, flexible cable. The wire is threaded through a series of pulleys and wrapped around the block, and then tensioned. As the saw operates, the wire moves at a high velocity. The next step is to cut them into thin slabs using multi-wire saws. These state-of-the-art machines employ multiple diamond-coated wires to slice through the stone quickly and accurately, producing numerous slabs at once. Companies also opt for a multi-blade saw over a wire saw, as it has several key benefits. Firstly, speed is a significant advantage. Multi-blade saws can simultaneously slice through granite, dramatically reducing the time needed for cutting. The fixed setup of the blades reduces the chances of errors that might occur due to the flexibility of a wire saw, ensuring straighter and more precise cuts. After a multi-blade saw cutter has been used to slice granite into slabs, the next process involves several stages of refinement to prepare the granite for its final use. This multi-step procedure is crucial to enhance the natural beauty and characteristics of the granite, ensuring it meets specific aesthetic and functional requirements. The freshly cut slabs are first smoothed to eliminate any saw marks or imperfections. This is typically done using abrasive pads under a machine that grinds the surface until it's uniformly smooth. In the stone business, flaming is a widely used process to improve the durability and aesthetic appeal of natural stone products. Using big propane torches or burners, a focused flame that may reach temperatures of up to 1,500 degrees Celsius or 2,732 degrees Fahrenheit is directed across the granite surface. This procedure gives the finished product more visual appeal by smoothing out blemishes. Granite slabs are cut for landscaping using a variety of methods that are tailored to the particular requirements of outdoor use. The three main types of cuts that are needed are split-faced, curved, and straight. The most popular applications for straight cuts are in retaining walls, pavers, steps, and other regular shapes. Multi-wire saws and gang saws, which are made especially for accurately and efficiently cutting granite, are used to make these cuts. However, in order to create patios, pool copings, or other rounded features in landscape design, curved cuts are required. Here are some examples of how they are cut and their other uses. Thanks for watching our video on granite mining and processing. We hope you learned something new about this fascinating topic. From exploring the world's largest quarries to witnessing the intricate process of turning raw stone into polished slabs, we've seen how granite has been extracted and transformed into beautiful materials used in construction, decoration, and art.